Okay, I'm going to show you how to multiply matrices using your TI Inspire CAS. So let's take a quick look at what that might look like. Let's go back to the problem that I just did. And here is that problem. Here's the problem. So if you want to write down these matrices, this is what we're going to do. And here's our answer, and this is how we did it. But what I really want you to be able to do is do that with your calculator. So here we are at your calculator. Make sure you're able to see this. I'm using your screen the same way you are. And all I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put in a matrix. I just have to be careful how I put it in. I put in this matrix, and you see this one is already. Be careful. These are brackets here, and these are for different functions. And you, can, and I'll show you those. It'd be my pleasure to teach you how to use that. But this is us using a matrix. So here, let's build this matrix here. So again, I hit this button right here, and it brought up this choice. Let's go back. Let's escape and see if we can do it again. Try it again. So, right here, where we are, hit this button right here. I chose this. All right. Now I'm just going to fill in the blanks here, and you can move around using your cursor. All right. So, it's three, two. So it's three, two, zero, and this one was negative one. So negative one. And then this is really important. I'm going to take my right hand cursor and I'm just going to keep bumping it until it's on the outside all the way. And I'm going to hit Control Store and I'm going to store this as A. I already stored something else as A, that's why it's coming up bold now, but it'll say done and there it is. You want to check, make sure it did it right, just hit A, you can hit enter and make sure you got the same thing back. And then the second matrix was this one. So we're going to go back here and choose a matrix. And here's the matrix that we like. It's a two by two. We're going to fill that one, and it was 1, negative 4, 2, 1, so 1, negative 4, sorry, 2, 1. Look, you guys, it only takes a second to check and make sure your math is accurate here, because your calculator is really stupid in that way. It doesn't know what you meant to put in, so make sure you put it in the way that you mean it. And remember, we're going to hit Control Store here. I'm going to say this one is the variable, I don't know, B, and I'm going to hit Enter. So now we have this whole thing in. Now our job here was to multiply matrices. So we're going to multiply A times B. So A times B. And A times B is equal to, and if you look at the problem that we did in the last video, here's that problem and there's that answer right there, isn't it? So there it is. What I wanted to prove to you guys is that A times matrix, A times matrix B is not necessarily equal to B times A. So let's take a look. So B times A. And it's not the same at all, is it? You have to remember that. You have got to remember that's a really simple question. It's going to show up somewhere in college, and your professor is just going to think that he or she's outsmarting you. It's a really easy question. No, the commutative property of multiplication does not apply to matrices. So, all right? Hey, I hope this was really helpful, and I hope that you watch the other video to show you how to do this by hand. Um, and I'm going to continue this series on matrices for, I don't know, for a little while. All right? Uh, if, you, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have subscribed, please comment. I'd love to hear from you, and I try to get back to you as soon as possible. And those of you who know me know it's true.